Hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no cinephotographer, just a dude with a camera. All right, this is part two of my 1964 budget cow bug build. This is going to be days two, three, and four of putting this little car together. So if this is something you're interested in, let's get started. I am crazy. Why would I cover up this beautiful patina? The main reason is I've just had every car that I've touched since last August has been white. I've had a white Bradley GT. I had a white bug. I had a white doom buggy. I have a white um, Puma. I have a white VW Westy. I just can't handle white anymore. And I'm also not a fan of the multicolored fenders and multicolored doors and everything. So what I'm doing is I've shot a very light coat of a satin baby blue. As you can see, this body's pretty beat up, pretty tattered. It was sandblasted with peat gravel or something because it's so pitted and then it was left to rust and then it was shot with a high build primer and then left to rust again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it up and I know where these patina spots are. And then after the paint dries, I'm gonna hit it with some sandpaper and try to start exposing some of that. It's so like I said, I've got a real light job and you can see where I have all the flaws in the body. And this is not gonna be a show car, nor do I wanna put, you know, 10 grand into the restoration. Even the deck lid's bent. So we're just gonna cover up this white and patina with light blue. And it's gonna be parked behind the shop and just let the sun bake for the rest of the summer. And I will slowly start putting it together. Now you don't wanna put you know, new door rubber in and new window rubber in on beat up primer. Same thing with the dash. I didn't want to put the whole dash together. So I've gone ahead and shot it with this satin light blue. And then I'm going to come in here and seam seal the floors and give it a nice bed liner. And then put these doors and windows back together. So there's a few, like I said, dents and nicks. And I've added a couple of drip marks, but there was drips in the, in the primer that was there. So I'm going to go ahead and scuff all those up. Once the paint settles for a few weeks, I'm going to hit this with the sander and we're going to see how it's going to look. All right. So I ran out of paint. So I'm going to run to the paint store and get some more and get this all taken care of. All right, let's get caught up on the end of day four. I finished treating the floors seam sealed all the welded edges and laid down first coat of paint kind of ran out so it's a little thin over here so i'm gonna go and get some more i didn't do too much in the way of filming day two but that was just getting it all one color day three was i go through the all the buckets of parts that came with it and cleaned everything up as you can see everything cleaned up nicely it's got all the matching original knobs Steering wheel, it's all gray. Odometer says 97,000 miles. That's pretty believable. Even have a new plastic glove box. And up front, I'm finally gonna use my oversized gas tank. We have all the gauges and switches in. I'm Put in the uh, fuse box and I'm starting to run the wiring. It's gonna be on another video. That's why I decided I better start video here because I'm gonna start working on the wiring and here's what I have. I have a wiring loom I pulled out of a 66. That's what I started with up front and I'm gonna go ahead and drag this thing through and use it on the 64. Headlights cleaned up nicely. Bumpers fit really good. I'm pretty happy. All right, it's the end of day four on the instant cow bug. All right, here's a little walk around after day four. It has a very light coat of a primer mixed with paint. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scuff it up afterwards. But I had the chromies laying around, pulled them out of the bushes 
put them on. Chrome molding came off of the 63. And so far, that's where we're at. All right, and the next step, what I said we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that wiring loom through and hook up all the tail lights, get the, all the wiring for the engine and everything ready to go. So, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can follow me along in this journey. This is gonna be an instant cow bug. Hopefully do it in less than a week. Thanks for watching Filet TV. Ciao.